Bolden. All right, Slade Bolden is with us now, the Alabama wide receiver who's joined us uh, leading up to the semifinal game. And now today, courtesy of Dr. Pepper, college football fans, what started is a season full of rivalries, close calls, and many cold cans of sweet Dr. Pepper is now coming to a close. So raise a Dr. Pepper to celebrate another glorious season of football and fansville by Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Slade with us now on the johnstonrvcenter.com hotline. What is up, Slade? How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. How y'all doing? doing? Thanks for uh, having me on. Yeah, man. We always enjoy it. Uh, congrats on the win. Congrats on scoring the first touchdown of the game. Uh, it's got to be a heck of a thrill in that stadium, in the college football semifinals, getting a, a touchdown off the board really quickly. Uh, man, that's what you live for. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was uh, definitely exciting. I, I think the, the coolest part about it was um, it was right there in the same corner of the end zone in the stadium where my family was sitting. So I feel like they, uh, you know, it was really special for them as well. They got to see it right there, you know, close up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I wasn't wasn't expecting or planning on scoring a touchdown. I, I mean, I'll take any any opportunity I can get, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I wasn't expecting it. But I was uh, I was definitely excited to you know get us going, and get us on the board, and uh, happy it worked out that way. Uh, Nick Saban's got his twenty four year twenty four hour celebration rule. Um, and I know, look, uh, the expectation for you guys to win a national championship, you won one last year. But what do you do in those 24 hours? Uh, so after the game, did you go back? Did you watch Georgia, Michigan? Did you guys go out to dinner? Did you did you have any kind of fun? Yeah, I mean, we we didn't have a whole lot of fun because we had to be back at the hotel at 12 o'clock. So it wasn't really a whole lot to do, you know, in that span of time. So we definitely got to watch some of the uh, Michigan uh, Georgia game I didn't really pay attention to it as much uh, I watched a little bit because by the time we got back and everybody you know saw the families and uh, everybody you know showered you know got dressed or whatever to do whatever we we're going to do that night you know they were already up a lot so it was like okay it was, we know who's winning so um, but yeah we uh, we got to hang out the good thing was I got to see my family a little bit more um, got to hang out with them I actually had a buddy from home come see me uh, so that was cool. But, uh, yeah, really just uh, we all kind of hung out together in the hotel uh, primarily, uh, you know, with my teammates and stuff. So it was fun. I mean, you know, winning's the best part. That's the most fun. So at the end of the day, you know, we had our fun. Yeah, and for, <laughs> and for, and for the folks who aren't following along, you guys basically bubbled up away from your family. So that time with them after the game – uh, had to be extra special because it wasn't like a normal bowl trip where you were getting to spend FaceTime with them every day, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, that's true. You know, my family didn't come in town until later. But, yeah, I mean, everybody had to be careful, uh, you know, just because we we didn't want anything to spread throughout the team, you know, especially that late, uh, you know, getting close to the game. So, yeah, it was tough. Uh, normally – we get to do these different activities during bowl games, whether it's, you know, like, for example, go to Six Flags. We were going you know, going to go to the Dallas Cowboys game the first night. And that was stuff, you know, we look forward to. But, you know, that we had there's a bigger, bigger goal on our minds. And, you know, it's not to go to a you know, Cowboys game or Six Flags, you know, it's to prepare and, and, and try to win a national championship. And we got one step closer uh, Friday night. Slade Bolden is with us. The Alabama wide receiver has joined us throughout this week, courtesy of Dr. Pepper, college football fans. What started is a season full of rivalries, close calls, and many cold cans of sweet Dr. Pepper is now coming to a close. So raise the Dr. Pepper to celebrate another glorious season of football in Fansville by Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Slade with us, like all of our guests, on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. I don't know how this works. I never played college football, which I'm sure is a huge surprise. Um, but <laughs> when you guys started watching film of Cincinnati. Was it clearly abundant that the run game was going to be there all day long, whenever you need it, and that was going to be able to be the game plan? Do you know that going in, or was it like, oh, my gosh, Brian Robinson's got all the yards he wants right now. Let's just keep running. Right. I mean, you know, I like to say yes. You know, you never know. You know, they could come out and throw different types of, you know, blitz, different types of games, you know, plug in different, you know, backers in different spots. Like, you never know what to expect. But, you know, we always feel like if we play our game, you know, the offensive line does a job. I know that, you know, we know they can do. And everybody knows their assignments on every play that we run. I mean, we feel confident that 
if we do everything right, you know, we can have a big game, whether it's in the run game or in the pass game. So you can't predict the future. You know, you, you hope that what you see on film and what we, you know, work on in practice and game plan for that it ends up working out like that in the game. But still, it's, uh, you know, sometimes you, you never know. But, you know, luckily we had uh, what we had game plan for ended up really working out for us in the game. When you watch on film Ahmad Gardner, though, and, and Kobe Bryant, I mean, can you tell, hey, these are elite cornerbacks just watching them right there on film? Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. We knew they were good. Um, you know, I mean, the film showed itself. And we, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for those guys. I mean, I even I told them myself. And, uh, you know, you, you never want to believe the hype, you know, like, oh, these guys, you know, you know, we felt really confident going in the game that we could – do what we normally do and um, have a big game. But, I mean, they played well. I mean, they uh, I, they got my respect. I felt like they were good players. Uh, you know, I mean, the film showed, and, and then when we played them, it showed. So so, so what, about a, what about a rematch, Slade? I, I, you obviously can't roll out the same exact game plan, right? Uh, how how does how does this happen? I don't know if this is the first rematch in, in your career. Yeah. How, how, do you, how, do you, how do you handle this? Yeah, it is definitely my first rematch. I that's a great question. Um, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have to I guess look back at the Michigan game and just and also our game and just kind of see uh what we could have done better and what you know maybe there's some new things that Georgia did against Michigan. Um and just try to come up with the best game plan we can. I feel like is it one of those uh, things? If you zigged here, you zag this time. I mean, they they will they will watch the tape, obviously, and you can use yeah. something you did in one game to sort of, you know, trick them into going in a different direction. Right. Well, we, you know, we never really show our full uh, playbook. I feel like I feel like there's still some things that we have that we could use, and I'm um, you know, but at the end of the day, they I'm sure they have the same things that they feel like they could do better against us, and um, it's it's at the end of the day, it's football. You know, it's, it's a lot of it's going to be man on man, cat versus cat, and whoever's the better man that day will win. And whoever has more heart and determination, I feel like we win as well. You know, you can you can call as many plays and schemes and coverages as you want, but if you ain't got the t- the better man on that side of the ball, then it won't matter. He is Slade Bolden, the Alabama wide receiver, presented by Dr Pepper. Um, I, I look, this football team has, uh, you know, this Slade. I mean. There were a lot of people that doubted you guys all year long. To accomplish what you have accomplished already has been incredible. What about the character of this team has allowed you, do you think, to do that and allow you to be playing for a national championship one week from today? Yeah, I I feel like this is the first time that, uh, you know, Alabama has really been somewhat of an underdog and kind of doubted, you know, for a while. And, you know, it's – I feel like it kind of struck up struck a mindset and our team saying like, you know, this is not who we are. You know, we, we, we play to a different standard, you know, especially when, after we lost in A&M and, you know, we never forgot that feeling of how we lost. So, and we all kind of told ourselves, you know, we're, there's a certain standard that we need to play to. And we're not playing at it right now and we need to get there. And, you know, I'm never saying that it's going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. And, but we, you know, strive for perfection and strive for excellence and, if you do that every day and, you know, day in and day out, you know, you will get close and, you know, no one's perfect, but, you know, there's only one man that's ever been perfect on this earth. But I feel like if we continue to strive for that, then we will uh, meet that standard again. So that's kind of, I feel like that was kind of our mindset during the year to get where we are today. Uh, for some of you watching and listening, when Slade says only one perfect man on this earth, he's not referencing Nick Saban. That was uh, a reference to Jesus. I wanted to clear that out for some people. Are you sure? No, no, no. He's talking about Jesus there. That's Jesus he's talking about. Uh, Slade, hey, congrats on the win, man. We look forward to catching up again this week, and we appreciate the time as always. Oh, yeah. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Uh, Thanks for having me again. All right, buddy. Take care. That is Slade Bolden with us. The Alabama wide receiver has been presented, excuse me, by uh, Dr. Pepper. College football fans, what started as a season – Full of rivalries, close calls, and many cold cans of sweet Dr. Pepper is now coming to a close. So raise the Dr. Pepper to celebrate another glorious season of football in Fansville by Dr. Pepper. The one fans deserve, like all of our guests, Slade, on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. 